So imagine a character who not only talks to you, but listens to you. Imagine a character that can pick up your emotions and respond in accordance with those emotions. Has an emotional level of herself that matches yours. Think about a situation where you have something on your phone that's available all the time that you can speak to. Get advice. Think about, you know, this is a rough day. Can you help me? So that's what we built. So I'm going to do a demonstration uh, of the avatar that's going to go through um, something related to chronic diseases. Now, in 2014, the U.S. spent about $4 trillion on chronic diseases. And 75% of that, and it's a large number, is uh, related to, um, you know, probably the top three to five chronic diseases that you have um, heart, lung, diabetes, cancer, and so on. So it's a lot of money, and in today's world, when you have changes in healthcare that say you're not going to get paid on the volume of visits or services, you're going to get paid on outcomes, where you have the desire to provide access to healthcare to everyone, how do you go about doing that? You don't have the facilities, you don't have the people to do that. Well, this is what we came up with. This is the solution that we came up with, which is the opportunity to provide you with basic needs where you live, where you play, where you work. So, um, so you're going to experience um, an episode or an encounter with me, with uh, Sophie, and because it's live, I'm not sure what she's going to say or do, so my apologies in advance. And um, I was speaking, you know, I've been practicing all of this for, for days, I mean, and there I was asking her this morning, why do you keep saying I'm either surprised or angry? And she said, well, you're the CEO. When people surprise you, you get angry. So that's what, that's what her tagline was today. <laughs> so with that, I want you to imagine that I'm a 60-year-old male with COPD. And um, I carry this app around. And um, I want you to focus in on th three things, emotion, environment, and biometrics. I'm actually going to take out a little pulse ox meter, which I bought at the local pharmacy. And she's going to read my readings live. And you're going to see my interaction with her based on those. Okay? So let's, uh, shall we start? I type in my name. She is particular about getting the name right. And we log in. Okay. Fingers crossed. Good afternoon, Nori. It's delightful to see you again. How are you feeling today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, Sophie. How are you? Oh, dear. What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Unless my part. GPS is <laughs> off, we're in Las Vegas. When did this happen? <laughs> Well, I came in this week. I'm presenting at IBM. We need to quickly check the pollen count here. Okay. <laughs> I see it's low medium, which is excellent. That's a relief. Okay, now, did you bring your oximeter? Yes, I always carried with me, you know that. Great. Do you remember how it works? I hope so. I've used it a thousand times. Now she shows me she's angry. <laughs> Nori, Oops. you've got it on upside down. Oh, we shouldn't be so... <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Look at my heart rate. It's 121. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it's only going up higher. So this is live, folks. This is it. <laughs> so. Your SpO2 is 98% and your pulse rate at 133. All right. Tell me what that means. That's about the same as no. yesterday. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and finally, your medications. Please indicate which ones you've taken or used today. All right. We'll take two of those. No rescue inhaler today. That's great news. Yeah. But there is something that troubles me. You look quite distressed and anxious. Is there something going on that I don't know about? I'm in front of about 15,000 people trying to show you off, yeah. 
I see. Then my advice is we'd better not screw this up. <laughs> Absolutely okay. right. <laughs> I completely forgot what's next. Oh, yes. Do you have any other questions you'd like to ask? Yes. Someone on the bus asked me about Parkinson's and I didn't know what the symptoms are. Do you? Parkinson's can cause a wide range of symptoms, but it is very unlikely that you will experience all of them. Some symptoms often start on one side of the body and may then go on to affect both sides. The cardinal symptoms of Parkinson's disease are resting tremor, slowness of movement, cold bradykinesia, and rigidity. Many people also experience balance problems or postural instability. These symptoms often appear gradually and increase in severity over time. How do you know all of this funny stuff? IBM Watson. Mm. He whispers <laughs> in my ear. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I think you've done your part. Let's see if I can do mine. It was quite wonderful to see you again today. Until tomorrow, enjoy Las Vegas. Oh, I have one last message for Watson. If you like it, and you want it, put a ring on it. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, Sophie. We're turning you off. <laughs> so, all right. Now, you all want to know how you can get your own Sophie, right? Okay, so there, just for the purposes of doing a demo, uh, we've got Sophie in the App Store, and she's called Sophie Care, one word. And it's two days of a diary on pain management. So if you've got really bad headaches, uh, she is a patient diary. She tracks your headaches. She knows what it was the day before, and she alters her um, interaction with you based on what you say. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting about it, when um, you tell her that you have a really high level of pain, she might say, well, you look particularly comfortable, Nori, and I'm not so sure. Am I reading you right? So she will call you out. And with that, I'm going to return. Thank you. Thank you.